out of the eyes. It's Luke at Luke's APS. And yes, I bit the bullet. Let's talk contrast paints. So guys, yes, contrast paints. Um, I've waited for the hype to die down because obviously I, I don't, I'm not sponsored by Games Workshop or anything like that. They don't send me anything for free. So I waited till they came out. I didn't pre-order them. I just, I waited till it's in the like Miniax video, which was a very, very good one. If you haven't seen that, do watch that after this, obviously. Um, to get a good opinion on them before I did sink some money into them. And I bought a couple to play with. So this video is going to be more of a, shall I say, reaction to me using them and what I think. Are they useful? Are they aimed at new painters? Which is what the marketing that I got from it was it was aimed at people that want to get st stuff done super quick and aimed more at beginner painters. So I thought I'd come in at this quite naive and I'd just open the pots and try it on camera. Okay, and see what we get from it. People have also been asking me, Luke, are you going to have a go at emulating them or trying to come up with something very similar yourself for a bit cheaper? So yeah, I have found something to emulate some of my favorite ones but we'll cover that later on however let's talk about them now i started work uh, on a, a ring wraith from lord of the rings i thought the black templar one was going to be an awesome one to try for my first one because i don't like painting black cloth i hate it um so I first pop the bottle open and I slapped it on. I put it on really thick, as they say, one thick coat and all this. The first thing that came to me is it went on lovely. It instantly did the lows and highlights very nice. Um, the Black Templar one for me was awesome. I, I haven't got any negatives towards this paint. They do take a while to dry, but you are putting quite a thick coat on. Um, but you, you're cancelling out your wash steps, so you're saving time that way. So from that black all over, I went to the brown. Um, I can't remember which brown it was, but I put the dark brown on and that painted the horse and then literally just chucked some silver on the uh, armor. And I was like, that's a nice tabletop finish for no work. So from that, I got quite excited. I thought these, these are the dog's nuts. And I thought I can see how people like them. The only thing that I didn't like about them is how much you have to actually load on your brush for them to work which as a new painter, having good brush control is not what you have. So if you've got that much paint on a large brush and you've got poor brush control, these aren't going to speed you up at all. They're gonna slow you down um, and you're gonna be tidying yourself up all the time. And the best things about the traditional way of painting or the old school way or whatever you wanna call it, as in you do all your base colors and then you bang a wash over the whole thing. The benefit of that is if you are a bit of a scruffy painter, like I am because my eyes are not that good anymore, the wash hides quite a lot of errors because it goes into the recesses where you slip slightly and it, it gets rid of that. Whereas this doesn't it accentuates the errors. So I really don't think they're for new painters. But then because I've done that and I really enjoyed the black and the brown and I thought they were awesome. Let's go on to some blues. Let's try some colours. So I got this troll from uh, Reaper Black. I think it's one of the Reaper Black resin models they gave away free when you ordered so much. Um, nice little model. I thought let's try some of these blues. So I sprayed it. Um, it was completely sprayed black. Then I did a grey around the side. Then I did a white from above to get like the zenithal shading on that people have been doing. I thought that'll work okay. And then I got a pale blue and I put it on and the pale blue was more like a glaze or a wash. It wasn't like the same consistency as the black or the brown, which really I was like, well, that's not how they've been sold. Um, so I wiped that off. I was like, this can't be right. So I give it a shake. I shook it up. I stirred it. 
and it, it wasn't like a contrast paint at all it was more like a wash however it was a very nice wash um it just wasn't what i thought it was going to be which is a bit misleading it would have been nice to have you know contrast base and then contrast wash or glaze it, that would have made a bit more sense so you don't get it wrong like i did so i went in with the ultramarine which covered like the black which is quite nice if anything, it's a little bit too thick in coverage. I suppose that's better when it's aimed for like your Space Marines. But on this troll, it could have been a little bit thinner. Uh, and we could have painted that all over and got some nice subtle shift in the hi highlighted areas. But from that, once it all dried, I wasn't overly keen. Maybe because it was a bit dark. Um, so what I did is I dry brushed over the top like I probably would if I was speed painting anyway. And then I glazed that down using the contrast paint that I'd used from before which worked worked very well and I did like that it's a very quick tabletop ready um, and then use the browns and everything else on the rest of the model to finish it off and when it was finished it looked okay you know it took me about half an hour to do it are they any quicker I think I could block color like the army paint away shall we call it block colors wash it dip it whatever far quicker than i could use these contrast paints as highlighted it's because you've got to be super super neat um and if you do make a slight mistake or you do slightly go over the lines when you put your next contrast paint on especially if you're using like blue and yellow for example you're gonna have a green mistake which it accentuates your error whereas if you paint the other way it hides that mistake because you're using a dark color that like black or brown it'll wash into that and it'll more or less it won't get rid of it but it'll make it far less noticeable so i do sort of prefer the old way but there's a lot of colors in this like painting guns with the black templar doing things with that black templar one is my favorite and i think out of all of them that's one that i will replicate for myself because i'm going to burn through that Bear in mind I've had them, what, just over a week now, and I've used nearly half the pot. <laughs> just playing and throwing out. Literally, that is how I do black for most things now. It's, it's awesome. Awesome stuff is that Black Templar. It's like a really concentrated null oil that's just going to get destroyed. Because we all know null oil is an awesome wash. You can't take that away from Citadel. It's an amazing wash, and whatever they do to that is magic. So... <laughs> them two together are like a godsend the other ones that, are, that do cover strong like the blue and the brown and the red and i can't remember the other ones but the ones that cover very strong i will use a lot of and the glazes i'll use for more shall we say arty farty stuff like power weapons um glazing over like high blues high greens things like that um these are far better for fantasy models i think like as you saw with the ring wraith that looked awesome well tabletop ready should we say in literally five ten minutes if that um so things with big long cloaks and all that sort of stuff on knock them out in seconds so i'm not i'm not one for the non-metallic metal looking metallics i'd rather just put metallics on and bang a wash on it um but Overall, I, I like the idea. I just don't think the set out for new painters. Because if you, for example, let's say you get a new painter and you go, right, you've got to be neat. You've got to load your brush up like this. And if you make a mistake, it accentuates it a hell of a lot. Whereas if you paint the old way, which is like base color, dip or wash, like I'm a painter, I've always pushed for the last, is it 10 years or whatever? At least if you make a slight mistake or you are slightly a little bit rough on the on the edges, when you put the wash on, it it, it hides it. Which is better? That's down to the painter and who's painting. But for me, I think I could still paint quicker the old way than using these. I find these a bit, they slow you down because you've got to be extra tidy and extra neat. But they do give you some really nice different finishes. But anyway, guys, what's your thoughts? What do you think? Um, it'd be nice to see some examples of what you've done with them. Something that's a bit different. Something that's not what they're intended for, which is what I like to do. I like to play with things and try and find things that I'm not intended. 
My favourite one, however, is Black Templar, because it's amazing. It's, it's magic. <laughs> the Black Templar one is probably the one that I will show you how to replicate, because I'm... I've burnt through nearly half of that tub already and I've had them less than a week. So that's going to be an expensive colour. So I'm going to have a go at replicating it, um, which I am pretty close. So I will show you that in upcoming videos. Um, but yeah, all in all, the contrast paints are a good thing. I just don't think what they advertised them for was that good thing, if that makes sense. It's just a bit, it's just a pity that the, the range is inconsistent. If if that range was all consistent, it'd be awesome. And then if they brought out more washers, that'd have been good as well. But they've done it like this and it's a bit like, it's a bit misleading, but it's all right. We'll learn as we play, won't we? <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and I'll see you next week for the board build. I know that was supposed to be today, um, but I hurt my knee on Wednesday. I'm getting old. I stood up, it went with a right clunk. And now it feels like I'm walking with two pieces of sandpaper I've really hurt my knee. Um, so it will be, it'll be Tuesday next week when I start showing you the board build um, and getting everything back to normal. I just didn't want to stand up for a couple of days while my knee hurt. Just getting old and falling to bits. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you again for the next video. And if you want to support the channel, don't forget to check out my shop and my resellers to buy all my scenics and everything you need for your terrain and miniature basing. See you for the next video. Love, love, love.